it's possible that this could be my very favorite Prusa Slicer setting ever. My name's Jim, and this is The Edge of Tech. So Prusa Slicer recently released version 2.4, and I tell you, it has a plethora of amazing features packed in, but there is one that I have to tell you about right now. It's the ability to take any model you want and make it low poly. It is simply awesome. So I'm gonna show you really quick how to take a mini gym like this or any model and turn it into a low poly model like this. It's super simple and fast, let's do it. So you wanna start out by opening up Prusa Slicer 2.4. If you don't have 2.4, make sure you get it, either upgrade the one you have or go to the link in the description below and grab 2.4 from there and install it right over the top. In my case, it did not take out all of the presets I already had when I installed it right over the top, so that was a good thing. And it has a whole bunch of new presets for Creality, Artillery, and all sorts of other printers out there too. Once you have your printer selected, in my case, I'm gonna use this Artillery Genius Pro. You wanna go ahead and load your model. I'm gonna find the mini gym I have. As you can tell, I have a bunch of stuff, but here is the mini gym here. And that is a standard mini gym. That's the first one we saw. Go through your settings. You want to make sure it is set up the way you want to. So in my case, I'll print it at point two. I'm just going to leave everything default um, at the point two. If you want to change the layers, you can do that right here. Once you have it all set, make sure you set your filament temps if you need to. I'm going to go backwards. Once you have everything set up, you want to right click the model. So highlight the model by clicking on it and then right click and then do simplify model. Once you do this, it'll actually allow you to turn up or make the detail level much higher. So you can go up with it like this and then hit apply. In our case, we're gonna go down extra low. So it gives it more polygons. So we hit apply and you can see mini gym is just kind of bumpy now, it has some more polygons on him, but not quite the extreme we want to go. You can do this as much as you want. I'm going to right click the model again. I'm going to go to simplify model, go to extra low, hit apply. And now you can see there's much more facets here. You can do it again. Ooh, look at that. Hit apply. And now it's like super poly. Once you get it to exactly how you like it, go over here to the bottom right corner under my video here and hit the slice button. That'll slice the model for you. Once it is sliced, you'll see the model's ready to go. You just need to export it or save it to your SD card, uh, print it, and that's when you'll see the awesome results. Again, when we check out this, you can see it went from a smooth, nice mini gym to super low poly with like three or four runs of the simplify model option. So the option itself is called simplify model. And I tell you what, I've done a couple things and I'm gonna show you that now. All you had to do is load a model, right click, choose that simplify, make the detail very low and then hit apply. And then do that a couple times or as much as you want to make it as, to make it as low poly as you want. It is super cool. You can see this vase right here is printed normally. I was testing the Artillery Genius Pro and it looks really good. Uh, it actually came out pretty nice. Looks very nice and I love this vase. But then I found this feature and I had to try it. So I popped on a different filament and look at this. When I printed this much larger, you can see all of the facets inside of it because I made it low poly. Super cool. So this vase wasn't designed low poly, but what's super cool about this is you can take anything and make it low poly. With these vases, it really makes them pop and it gives it a whole different character. And this is the mini gym that printed. You can see all the facets all over. It's super cool. They're in, in the hair and all around the model. It is, it's just such an awesome feature and it totally lets you turn anything you want into a low poly design. So in the beginning, I showed the regular mini gym that looks like this. And I gotta admit, this is actually uh, the tripod version. It came off the bed a little rough and I'm now dubbing this the, uh, tri the tripod version. And I'm actually gonna send this over to uh, Tripod's Garage because I think this would be a fun one for him. I tell you what, you gotta try this out. Download Prusa Slicer 2.4. 
This is such an awesome feature. There are a ton of features and I'm gonna be doing some more videos just like this, keeping them super short, but showing you the features you can do in Prusa Slicer. This one's called Simplify Model. It's really an awesome feature. If you're getting value in this video, squish that like button. It really helps the algorithm and it spreads the video out through the community. And let me know in the comments below what you're gonna print in low poly because I'd love to see it. Don't forget to tag us on Hot Makes at hashtag Hot Makes on Twitter. I hope you guys learned something today and as always, keep printing. Thank you